Rain from Faye is also making a mess here in Manhattan. Some subway stations look like waterfalls. Downpours from Faye cause flooding here at the 23rd Street stop. And also the rain is delaying two and five trains in both directions at 149th and Grand Concourse while crews work there to get the water off the tracks. Yes, all this bad weather, bad news for businesses trying to recover. CBS News Dave Carlin continues our team coverage from the Belmont section of the Bronx. Dave. Christine and Andrea, this is Arthur Avenue, and boy, it's been taking a real pounding from the rain. Heavy rain like this is the last thing that all the restaurant owners up and down here need, and that's because another setback comes in the form of a storm. Helping move sidewalk tables partway indoors and out of pouring rain is Elizabeth Kajtazi, the owner of Michelangelo's restaurant on Arthur Avenue. Pre-pandemic, the dining capacity was 76. Now it's down to 20. Outdoor only. No one wants to settle down to eat right here with downpours this steady and winds that don't let up. Because there's no point of putting the tables out. She had two diners for the lunch hour when she was expecting three to four times that. And while we found a few people who don't mind. Where we always eat outside, even if it's a little rain. But these are no small showers. Something Mayor Bill de Blasio pointed out Friday with this warning. Tonight's not going to be a great night for outdoor dining and get your furniture and umbrellas and everything in so they don't go flying away and creating any kind of danger. Some frustrated restaurant owners wonder how much more they can take. Here in Belmont, it makes a mess of this weekend's debut of two Arthur Avenue blocks closed to traffic, meant to entice visitors to spread out, eat, stroll, and buy. I think the weather is going to be against us. Nick Marico works at Pasquale's Rigoletto, which is staffed up ready for a crowd, but instead workers stared at rows of empty outdoor tables. They're hoping it doesn't stay this way all weekend, and they're feeling jealous. Many restaurants outside of the city are allowed limited indoor dining. Westchester County is doing better than we are. I wish we could get to that point where we could be 50 percent. But not yet. You're not being allowed. No, we're not allowed, and that's awful, and they keep pushing it back. And at times, the strength of the rain here and the winds made you wonder how these hanging plants stayed up here and didn't go flying away. Now, at this particular restaurant, you see that the tables are still set up, but they realize that with the rain like this, those will probably stay vacant until this storm passes us by. Live in the Belmont section of the Bronx, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. All right, Dave, thank you.